call the member for Moncrief. Thank you, Deputy Speaker. Since the beginning of 2024 uh, and the school year, I've been visiting uh, many schools to present school leaders with certificates and to engage in discussions about leadership skills. And in the heart of the Gold Coast, in Moncrief, uh, it's home to 33 schools, uh, 20 of which I've had the privilege to visit so far this year. I love to sit down uh, with the senior class cohorts and discuss all things leadership. Uh, goal setting, dreams and aspirations for life after school uh, and to see if I can help them in any way possible. I'm inspired by our youth uh, with their informed questions about Canberra and my role as their federal member and shadow minister for youth. It was indeed a pleasure to answer their questions, be present in their lives and educate them a little bit more on Australia's democratic processes. Uh, the year six or 11 and 12 students were very inquisitive. Uh, and our interactions are always very candid with nothing off limits. Many students asked about my favourite part of the job and of course that's an easy answer which is <coughs> engaging indeed with them uh, and my Gold Coast community that I love so dearly. During each school visit I touched on what I believe the three L's of leadership are and that's listening, learning and leading by example. Uh, it's important as a leader to actively hear what people say and to understand what they really mean. And uh, I also outline that learning doesn't just stop when you finish school, it goes far beyond that, uh, into tertiary study, into a trade, or indeed into a job. And we should all never stop learning, and hopefully all of us here uh, in this place listen to the three L's of leadership. Um, the third and lucky last, of course, is leading by example. Young people cannot be what they cannot see. Uh, and so the examples that we set are the showcase for these young leaders. Uh, I always encourage young people to make up their own minds uh, when they see and hear their leaders as to whether they think they're good or not. Uh, and they, of course, take that on board. I also talk about the ABC of life, which I consider to be uh, that your attitude affects your behaviour and that your behaviour then affects the consequences of that, good or bad. Uh, and another key reminder that I talk about is to say yes to any opportunities that young people uh, have in front of them, uh, even if they're nervous or they feel that they're out of their comfort zone, uh, because, of course, we all know that's when young people grow and learn, that's when older people grow and learn uh, as well. Uh, and time doesn't always permit me to visit all of the schools across uh, the central Gold Coast at the beginning of the year. So to all of those schools on the, uh, in the heart of the Gold Coast, I congratulate your school leaders um, and I wish you all the very best for the rest of your year. I'm so very proud of your achievements. Your role is critical to those around you who rely on you to lead the way to a better future.